So John, um, can I have my dinner in this room over here? Well, uh, no, you can't. This is for officers only, and uh, uh, by the dress you have on, I would say you're not an officer. What? However, this is where the officers would eat, and I would set this on the table for them. Dress code, I knew I forgot something. Okay, where did this come from? Well, it came from the kitchen. Yeah, would you like to go back and see where it came from? Sure. This is the kitchen. This is the kitchen for the officer's mess. They made a big mess or what? It's called a mess and in military terms it's where the uh, officers and the man eat. In this, in this case it's the officer's mess. Uh, one meal a day was prepared here for the officers, typically seven or eight officers at this fort. When would they have the meal? They would have had the meal in the room where you just... Evening, morning, afternoon, or just... It was an afternoon meal. It generally started between four and five, and probably lasted about three hours. Okay. So, uh, very involved, two-course or three-course meal. Today, we're uh, demonstrating, uh, along with the Conscious Food Festival, the use of uh, local foods. In this case, cabbages from our heritage garden. So this is all again, all the food grown in your own garden here at Fort York. That's correct. And they would have done that in uh, 1826 as well. Uh, we're making a curry of it. A curry involves um, imported spices, but as early as uh, 1747, we had uh, evidence that spices were imported. So we've made our own curry powder okay. based on these seven spices that we have on the other table here. Okay. Uh, you can see we have uh, black pepper, coriander, cumin, cardamom, cinnamon, turmeric, and ginger. And these spices are all combined to make a curry powder similar to the one you would buy in the store today, but probably not exactly the same as the one you'd buy in the store today. Okay. How will it take to prepare all this? Well, the cabbage is uh, uh, boiled in the uh, water on the fire to cook it. And then it's taken out and put in another pot with a large amount of butter. Georgian cooking uses a large amount of butter. Okay. With butter and the curry powder and uh, vinegar. And you have a cabbage curry. Which Beautiful. you're and welcome what to like try that? in the kitchen. You just can't try it in the dining room. Okay, so where's my sample? Your sample. We'll ask one of the ladies here, if you, could you give me a sample for our friend here? I wouldn't let him eat in the dining room, so he wants to eat here. Well, I can't eat in the dining room. A dress could have left my uniform and another time period, actually. And you would call this what? Vegetable curry. And what did you just put there? It's an assertion flower. How do you know I like flowers? It goes with the curry. Are these it edible? It provides the peppery flavor for the curry. Really? So these are edible flowers? Yes, they're from the garden as well. Wow, interesting. <laughs> okay, let's try it.